Hey, thanks for meeting me here. Well, after going over a lot of that data from our stakeout, I noticed something. As it turns out, two of the people we saw going in are very high placed at this place. It's some sort of bioengineering facility. I don't know. It's very up and up. Uh, a little out of my ballpark, if you will. Why am I not surprised that you know what this place is? <laughs> uh, the surprises never stop. Well, anyway, I figured if they're as well placed as I think they are, it's pretty good that they're doing something here that pertains. Unfortunately, getting in is going to be a bit tricky. This isn't some, you know, crappy building in the Narrows. This is, you know, Midtown Gotham. They're gonna have good security. Yeah, well, I've got a few ideas, just none of them very good. Well, if it were the bat, you know, I'd scale a building two miles the other way, jump along the rooftops doing, you know, grapples and zip lines and all that stupid nonsense. Oh, no, the boy Wonder? Yeah, no, he'd start doing weird acrobatic nonsense. I'm not about any of that. Again, sometimes a little less circus pageantry is what you need. Well, in this case, I like to think of this as the old bait-and-switch. Oh, the bait-and-switch. It's actually where you come in. Well... I hope you don't mind me asking you for a uh, wardrobe selection, but I need you to distract the security guard. Yeah, so my thought process is you're going to go in, you're going to get him to pay more attention to you. Maybe, you know, get him to not pay so much attention to the, quote, Delivery guy, unquote. Well, the bio facility is on the 20th floor, but there is a law firm on the 16th that has got some late night meeting going on. It just so happens that they delivered some food recently. I may have slipped the delivery driver a couple bills to give me the food. I've got it in the bag right here. They don't need to know who's delivering their food, just that they get it. The security guard doesn't need to know that I'm not from the restaurant. However, if he wants to get spicy and check about it, well... Well, that's where you come in. You'll forgive me for asking for a skirt and a low-cut blouse, but... Again, distraction here is kind of the best option I have. <laughs> now you're getting it. Well, unfortunately, most of my um, female counterparts in the vigilante world would probably beat the shit out of me for asking this. 
Yeah, and I can't blame them. I mean, it's not the most glamorous job to have to ask to do, but in this case, I figure you and I might be able to work it out. And see, this is what I love about you. Gung-ho about this whole vigilante thing. No job too small or slightly too demeaning. It's okay to admit it's a little demeaning to be the eye candy for the... I'm gonna say six donut a day security guard. I've been watching the building all day. I know how many times he's gotten delivery. I don't know how the dude has any cash left over. Delivery apps aren't cheap. <laughs> Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I need you to go in there. I need you to make up a story about why you're there. Um, Fox Tech does business with them, don't they? Well, maybe Fox Tech needs to drop off some paperwork. Um, there shouldn't be anyone there, so he's either going to have to take the paperwork himself or let you go up and just drop it on, like, a desk. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's the best plan, but, again, do you really want to try to zip line to this building from anywhere around here? Now you're getting it. All right, so you go in, you do your thing, I'll follow about ten minutes later and just try to slide through, see if he can, you know. Now you're getting it. All right. Go. Be charming. I know you can do that. How is it demeaning to say that you're charming? It's just a statement of fact. All right, all right, all right. I won't say it again. Just, you know, good luck or whatever. <laughs> Whoa, damn. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, can I, uh, help you with something? It's a little late here. Nah, don't worry, sweetheart, you know. This building, it's always on. Some things always are. <laughs> well, I mean, what can I help you with? And please say quite a bit. Well, now, that's a bit of an ask. Um, unfortunately, up on the 20th, that's all keycard access. Very hard to get into. Oh, I could get in, but you know, uh, I'm kind of the head of security here. I'm important. I need to be able to get into places. Well, what can I say? I like to get into places. Uh, it's quite fun. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just playing around. Tell me, who are you going up there to see? I don't think anybody's up there anymore. They all probably clocked in for the night. You know how them bigwigs are. They like to play and, well, it's well past five o'clock. It's playtime for them. I'm just saying I wish it was playtime for me, but some of us actually have to put in an honest day's work. 
Well, an honest day's work doesn't hurt so much when we get to talk to people like you. But... Oh, that seems to be a lot of papers. You, uh, sure you don't need a hand with that? I'm always happy to lend a hand, you know? Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on. Let me help you out. Hey, buddy. Can I, uh, help you with something? Yeah, I just have a food delivery. 16th floor. Law firm. Um, you're supposed to check in. Hey man, if you want to be the one to tell them why their food's cold, you go right ahead. I see you're, uh, busy with whatever you're doing. Hey, knock your shit off, alright? I don't need a lip from some delivery boy. No, 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 you don't worry nothing, sweetheart. I'll help you out, whatever you need. Uh... Remind me what your name is, just so I know who to tell up front. Just... <sighs> Fine, here. Don't let me catch you doing nothing stupid, alright, delivery boy? Whatever you say, John Law. Whatever you say. You'll believe the nerve of that guy. Ugh, <sighs> I tell ya. Ain't no good help left in this city. That's why I'm getting out of here. Oh, a tropical beach does sound nice. I bet you would look nice on a tropical beach. How about this? Um, There's a lot of paperwork, clearly, and, you know, you're having some trouble with it, as I can see, so why don't you let me help you out? No, 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 I insist, sweetheart. Come on, I'll take this. You go ahead, I'll follow. Happily, of course. We'll go up to the 20th and drop this off together, yeah? No, 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 I insist. Ladies like you shouldn't have to do too hard of work. Yeah, come on. It's the least I can do. Besides, I, uh, I think I'd enjoy an elevator ride with you. Better than half of the big wigs here. No, I insist, please. Come on. And that's why, when you get down to it, really, I'm the entire reason this place works. Anybody who's anybody could just get in and, you know, you need somebody like me doing my job. I'm not saying, you know, I'm a hero, but, well, some people wear bats and capes, other people man the door. It's an honest day's work. See, I feel like you get me. I feel like we could be, uh, close friends, as it were. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me badge in. Oh, like I said, I have, uh, access to everything in the building. I have to. It's an important job security. Last line of defense, as it were. <laughs> I don't see no bat sitting at that desk. Probably wouldn't know what to do with it. You, uh, looking to hire over at Fox Tech? Wouldn't mind working a little more closely with you. Oh, come on now. You saying you wouldn't want to see this face every day? I wouldn't mind seeing your face every day. Wouldn't mind seeing even more of you every day, uh, if you catch my meaning. 
Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. Girl like you, guy like me. We could get along, right? I mean, nobody's in the office now if you feel like. I'm sorry. If I had to hear one more word out of him, I was going to kill him. That's the bat's rule. I feel like me killing him would do a service to society. Really? You're trying to defend the guy who just tried to proposition you in the lobby of an office? At night. No, no, I get that. And... Fine, fine. I won't kill him. You're lucky for that sleeping beauty, but... Oh, look at you. Trying to defend my... Morality and sensibilities. I'm touched. Really. <laughs> Alright, well. Be all that as it may, we should not linger too long. He'll be out for a while, which, you know. That's a small favor. Oh, yeah, no, they already got their food. We are good to go, you and I, but go is the operative word. Yeah, um, I did my best to disable the building's cameras before we even got in. Simple little router bug, nothing too fancy, but inside past this door, there's going to be private security that they have, so... You're going to need this. Well, and if you'll allow me to borrow from my sleeping friend here, you wouldn't want to cover your, uh... Well, how would you put it, my friend? Gorgeous face. But in this case, I think anonymity is your friend. Oh, my friend? Well, <laughs> this is my friend right here. I think a little fear from them is a good thing. If they know somebody important is looking into them, well, they'll probably start making a mistake here or there. That's all I really want. I think I'm pretty damn important. You know what? <sighs> Come on. We're headed this way. Mike O'Fallon. He's the head of R&D or some such. I don't know. But he's got access to everything in the building. Including what I think to be some rather volatile compounds. Well, you'll have to forgive me, but I don't really know what they do here. Like I said, this is more your area of expertise, not mine. No, my area of expertise is the whole breaking and entering part. And the rerouting the cameras so that you and I never showed up on them to begin with. No, as far as the cameras know, he's still actually down there sitting there eating donuts. Eh, what can I say? Occasionally I'm good at my job. Running a feedback loop through the cameras? Eh, I learned to do that when I was 12. Well, some of us didn't go to fancy preparatory schools. Some of us tried to jack wheels off of the Batmobile. 
Yeah, what can I say? I thought they would sell well. Never got the chance. I should do that at some point. I'm just saying, if I steal the wheels off the Batmobile and try to sell them, it'd be funny. Nothing else watching the Bat's face when he comes out and his ride is cinder blocked. That could be great. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. We have work to do tonight. Well, I mean, hey, if uh, on mischief night you're not doing anything, it could be fun. I mean, I'll have to patrol because it's always a weird night in Gotham, but I don't know. Meet me. We can hook up and, you know, egg the Batmobile or some such. Oh, I'd leave a note at that point. Dear Batman, have fun washing this at the car wash. Sincerely, Red Hood. No, he knows my real name, of course, but... Honestly, I think it'd be more funny to sign it as Red Hood. Because, again, it would piss him off. That's really funny to me. <laughs> Come on. This is the door we need. Well, yeah, it is a biometric scanner, but do you know what none of these buildings really do well? Hinge security. Ah. Oh. Every time. That hurts every time. So, the thing is, because we're already on camera, they're going to know somebody broke in. Most of Gotham is 50-50 that I'm still a criminal, so... It just looks like I'm breaking in with a, uh... Very well-dressed accomplice. They don't know why, and there won't be cameras in here. He'll get questioned. It'll scare him. Hopefully, big old hornet's nest kick. Hell, I mean, to be fair, wouldn't actually mind just doing this and leaving, but we're here, so we might as well gather some intel. Yeah, no. Desk is too easy. He wouldn't keep anything there. Plus, a company like this will probably have access, like he won't be able to lock his desk. It's a whole security thing. If they fired him, they want to be able to come in beforehand, clear out his desk, make sure nothing is sensitive, and then just hand him a box. I may have gotten a tech at Wayne Enterprises fired. Uh, he was selling stuff to the wrong people, but... It was easier to just get him fired and remove him from his position. Yeah, but the thing is, you do it and you start to learn how that process works. No, we're looking for something more hidden. And where better than a bookshelf? Most people aren't that original, unfortunately, and the bookshelf is pretty much on the top of my list. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right. In-wall safe would be too hard to hide. They wouldn't want him to have one because he shouldn't be keeping sensitive research documents in here. So we're looking for a safe that isn't a safe. Okay, I'll bite why that book. Maybe he's just a fan of classic Russian literature? I mean, it is War and Peace. It's great. Yes, I've read War and Peace. You've seen my lair. For, you know, lack of a better term. Sometimes I need something to do. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, be that as it may, why war and peace? I wouldn't have thought of that, but yeah, I guess that's true. Most of this is all biomed. Damn, dude, really? One piece of classical literature and all this biomed, biotech, bioengineering stuff. Wow, yeah, that is actually pretty sloppy. Well, it tells me that our guy isn't a criminal. Either he's caught up in the wrong thing or the money was too good. No, no, no. In this case, we don't really need to worry about subtlety. Again, he's going to lie about whatever, you know, we found in here. For all he knows, we're corporate raiders trying to get an edge. I'd hope that whoever looks at the security camera sees the hood and, you know, goes, Oh, no, something else is going on here. Yeah, well. Let's, uh... Let's live in hope, shall we? Give me that. Because again, subtlety is for the weak. See? Well, damn, you are absolutely right. You sure you're not a part-time vigilante, you know, by trade? You're pretty good at this. Oh, what can I say? The skirt, the blouse, the mask, it's a whole look and I dig it. Well, very much so. I would not mind being on a stakeout with this vigilante, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, uh, at least I uh, wasn't suggesting, what was it, a tropical beach? Yeah, of course I heard him. Stayed around the corner as long as I could, making sure everything was okay. It's not my fault I'm a good partner, I'm just saying. <laughs> Be that as it may, come on, what do we got here? Oh yeah, look at that. I can't read any of this. That's more your domain. Yeah, now this I can read. Mostly a list of buyers, I think. This dude took the time to put this together in an Excel spreadsheet. He is such a rookie. It's bad enough to have a handwritten ledger. This is a prosecutor's wet dream. I'm just saying. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Tropical beach is not my wet dream. I sunburn too easily. You know, I never really thought about it. Hard to have, you know, real life fantasies when this is my real life. private island now that I could probably get down with nobody else around no chance of anybody doing anything stupid that outfit would look good on a private island no that's fair there is nobody to see it so maybe you just don't need the outfit then focused. Anything popping out? Oh, I'm glad you're having success because so far this is just a who's who of low-grade criminals and... Oh, well, he's not low-grade. 
Oswald Cobblepot. Every time, every time it's money and weapons in this city. Every time. His name's on this list. It tells me it's weapons, which also tells me it's money. It's Oswald Cobblepot. Every damn time. You know what? I'm actually going to make a weird suggestion. We're taking all of this. All the paperwork. He should never have kept a listing. He should have known better. He can't tell whoever he's working for that he lost this. It's not supposed to exist. Well, I have a bit of a twofold plan on that one. Part one is going to be talking to Mr. Manns here. Let him know we have this list and what we're going to do with it if he isn't careful. The other part is, unfortunately, yet another stakeout and... Oh, it's the Gotham Fish Market. I hate stakeouts at the Gotham Fish Market. Because... It reeks of fish. And it's Oswald Cobblepot. He is so boring most of the time. That's true. At least I have somebody to spend the time with. At a fish market. Where it smells like fish. You sure you want to keep up with this vigilante crap? Well then, that's our next move. Threatening a VP of this place and... Staking out a fish market. Glamorous life. Well, I assume he's a VP. I mean, he's not the CEO, so... Most of these guys, even if they're heads of department, have some sort of VP in their title. Well, yeah, I mean, isn't that how it is at Fox Tech? Everybody's a VP? That's fair. I don't know why we're arguing about VP status either way. We're coercing this dude. Damn. That's an ugly turn of phrase. I'd like to think coerce is nicer. <laughs> Alright, come on. We got everything we need. Let's get out of here before Sleeping Beauty wakes up. Oh, I'm not worried about him. We're gonna leave this place. We're gonna get out of Dodge. He's gonna wake up and not tell a soul about what happened. Oh, well, because then he'd lose his job. And, you know, he's so important to this place, he couldn't possibly do that. <laughs> Yeah, very important. That's why he's napping in the lobby. Well, let's go make sure he isn't done napping, and then let's get the hell out of here, yeah? Alright, come on. <laughs> 